Hi, I'm Elgin Cleckley, Assistant Professor of Architecture and Design Thinking, and I'm happy to share more on ARC 3500-6D Empathic Design and Design Research Seminar. Empathy, empathic design, is now more important than ever. We see that in our current racial justice movement and the response it's had on our cultural landscapes. These images here from Monument Avenue in Richmond clearly demonstrate this rethinking. At the base of the Lee statue, you have new designs that tell empathy stories, based stories of African-American lives. The tapestry that now coats the statues themselves holds the message, but now it's time to rethink what these cultural landscapes should be for the future. My work, the lens I've come up with is called 6D. We'll analyze these spaces, spaces such as these, the systems, spaces, objects, products, graphics, and experiences. How do we take it from non-inclusivity to inclusive design spaces? And you will then learn this for your own design toolkit. We'll focus on Empathic Design's award-winning pedagogy, initiative, and design practice. Develop your own ethics and aesthetics in this. Look at action-based empathy and principles, themes, and methods, resulting in your own inclusive design activism. This will become part of your toolkit. Within it, we'll walk through the Empathic Design Thinking methodology from discovery, designing and making, to implementation. We'll also focus on three different themes. The first being the design thinking of how these spaces were created, analyzed with the 6D, non-inclusive design lens, but also be specific about introducing perspectives of the other in these ideologically held cultural landscapes. All of this work is covered in my forthcoming book with Island Press next summer. I'm also working with Dumbarton Oaks Mellon Fellowship in Urban Landscape Studies on this work as well at the same time as the, as the seminar is occurring. But what's important is that we'll analyze empathic case studies. And this is a visual of some of the amazing works we'll look at and creators, empathic designers. It's an inclusive syllabus, inclusive work, inclusive of cultures and perspectives. And that black box you see in the center is you. The idea is that we'll go through this field of amazing work but then we'll also arrive at your own self-interest and you will become part of the syllabus as well. I'll expand on this at the beginning of the class, but the idea that this syllabus will then facilitate your own toolkit in becoming an empathic designer. Some of the great work we'll look at is the work of Rachel Whiteread at the top left, Tiffany Chung down at the base, and also David Ajay's work, Zena Howard, Philip Freelon, the collage work of Romare Bearden. We'll dive deep into Monument Labs, Creative Speculations for Philadelphia, to rethink about our monuments and these spaces. Karen Oliver's work on the left will be an amazing way to understand and rethink what possibilities could be, as well as Terry Atkins' work on the right. These examples will be analyzed, and we'll talk about them, and work about ideas that these can happen in two real world spaces. Those are as follows. First will be Court Square here in Charlottesville. We'll analyze the space. Look at my design project there in the space with Albemarle County and community leaders, but also think about what will happen and what could happen after the statues leave this space. The second will return to Monument Avenue in Richmond. We were here last year in the first run of the class. We'll work with the storefront for community design the Middle of Broad Studio and Camden Whitehead from VCU Arts to revisit ideas that came out of the General Demotion, General Devotion competition. The ideas that came out were in four different groups for the professionals and students in the class also prepared ideas as well. On the left, you can see Bound by Lori Garrett, Robert Riddle and Neil Walls, which took this new idea of having interpretation also an idea of the roping that is used to put the statues up as well as a temporary installation. And Kay Alexander's amazing work on the side from CSA, the Confederate States of America to CO2 emissions. This idea of rethinking what Monument Avenue could be. Clearly this has now changed. So the idea is now to revisit this work and think about what the possibilities would be in this space. 
What's important is all the work that you have for the semester will be in a book and you'll create a book digitally of all your steps as we analyze the case studies, as you come up with the design ideas, as you have responses, as you respond to Monument Lab, designs for Court Square, and also designs for Richmond itself. At the end, you will then have a record for part of your own resource and work from here on out, a book that you can look through, reference, understand how you feel about yourself as an empathic designer, but also think about yourself in the long run. I think it's incredibly important to know that this work where you are now is going to become part of who you are as a designer, as an architect, and that, therefore you'll have this incredible resource that you can connect with throughout your education here at UVA, but also out into the world. I'm happy to answer any further questions you have about the seminar itself. Feel free to reach me at the email here at the base, and I hope to see you in the class. Thank you.